In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Onion Skin Journal by Remy Road. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a paper test, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this notebook coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. This is the Onion Skin Journal by Remy Road. This is the very first Onion Skin Journal I've ever had, and actually the only one. I would have never thought of Onion Skin as being suitable in a journal because it is so transparent, but somebody told me about these notebooks and I was told that this paper is really popular. So thought I'd give it a go. It's a pretty expensive notebook, $48 for this notebook. In terms of the specs, you do get 320 pages in only 10 signatures. So those are 32 page signatures, which isn't really amazing. I would like to see 16 page signatures, but there is some handy work that goes into this because they have to be folded by hand because the paper is so thin. Anyway. 320 pages. In terms of the size, uh, here we can see it against a uh, paper mined Mitsubishi bank paper notebook, which is an A5 size. So we can see it's a little bit taller and a little bit skinnier than an A5 size, but pretty close. So if you like an A5 size notebook, this could be a good size for you. This is the only size it comes in. It doesn't say what the, the paper weight is of this onion skin paper, but it's definitely thinner than Tomoe River 52 GSM. So this black notebook is a non-bull 52 gsm tamoy river notebook and both of these notebooks here have 320 pages so you can see the book block is quite a bit thinner than the tamoy river so just wanted to show that it does come in five different colors for the cover that is nice i like that we have all those options in terms of other specs it is a stitched binding Again, 10 signatures, so 32 page signatures, and it's made in the United States, and we have a ribbon bookmark, and then we have a linen cover, uh, hard cover. It feels weird to me. Like, I, I do believe that this is a natural linen. You can feel the texture of the linen, but it's like coated with something kind of plasticky and hard feeling. So while I do think that the material is real linen, it doesn't feel feel that good to me, but maybe you get some water resistant properties or something like that. All the onion skin notebooks by Remy Road have this, you know, serpent eating its tail. It's pretty cool looking logo here. And I believe in some of the other color colors, it's like a gold or a silver foil instead of this matte black foil, which I think looks really nice on this tan linen cover. On the spine, you can see the onion skin and we have again that snake eating its tail and this says V1. I guess this is I don't know, version one? Not exactly sure why they did that. And then on the back, it is blank. Now, we do get a liner sheet so that you can see lines, dot grid, or ruled. And it's a five millimeter ruling and a five millimeter dot grid. I like five millimeters for dot grid. The rule is a little bit small. You also notice that there are dots on my liner sheet, and that's just from the paper or the ink bleeding through the paper onto the liner sheet. So when you get a new one, you're not going to have those dots on there. It does come with a bookmark, which sort of has some specs on the notebook. And it has hand folded pages. I guess a machine can't fold the pages this thin. So there's some extra kind of labor in there to do that. I don't really love this liner sheet. It doesn't fit very well. It's too big, like it hangs over. Normally you want a liner sheet to be slightly smaller than the page you're writing on. We also have sharp corners, just not the best. I, I mean, I'm glad that they include it because this is something you're going to want to use when you're writing on this, just because it is so transparent, but we'll we'll get into that. So in terms of paste down here, we kind of have this parchmenty looking, cloudy, sort of tan colored end paper here, which I think looks really nice. In terms of the paper performance, well, first of all, we can just see how crazy see through this is. Up front, if we take a look here, the face of this looks really nice. I don't see any feathering, any issues like that at all. This is an A plus on the face of it. Looks really good, really crisp. And on the back, it looks pretty good. Notice we didn't get anything over onto the other page. So, you know, sometimes the Sharpie will make it onto the other page or the Copic, but none of that. So it, it did hold the ink pretty well. You know, you will see bleeding though in areas here on the Pilot 6 millimeter, also on the Pilot 3.8 millimeter. The Mont Blanc OBB looks pretty clean. I don't see any issues there. 
Opus 88, the 1.5 millimeter looks pretty good. Lamy Accent Fine looks pretty good. The Omas Ajiva, this is an older semi-flexible pen. Vintage, it's from, I think it's from the 40s. This we did get some bleed on. This is a very wet nib and it's a bit of a sharper nib because it is so flexible. It can do a very fine line to a very fat line. And then let's see, what how else did the other pens do? The Stabilo Sensor, it looks like it comes through just a, a bit. The Oto Fude Ball 1.5 millimeter comes through a bit. Uniball Air Micro a bit. Pentel Energel a bit. The Pentel Energel, the 0.5 millimeter, doesn't really look like it came through. Stetler Permanent Marker, that came through a bit. Sharpie doesn't really look like it penetrated much at all. Oil drawing pen came through a little bit. I, and I mean, <laughs> you know, when I look at this and I say it didn't come through, I'm just not seeing like concentrated dots of ink like we have here. But I mean, obviously it's so thin, you can see it through. I'm just not sure it's actually breaking through all the way to the other side. But anyway, the oil drying pen, we got a little bit there. Topic. I don't, I mean, it didn't bleed onto the other side. It's a little bit hard to tell. I, obviously, you're not going to write on both sides with this pen. You're just not going to be able to see anything. Oh, also, if you notice, there's a, a dot here. I don't know what I was doing. I dropped some ink into this spot, so sorry about that. I think some of the things that people really like about this paper, it almost has like a, a parchment-like look to it. It's kind of got a cloudiness to it. And if you can hear, it's very crinkly. This is a notebook which has 52 GSM Tomoe River paper. And so, you know, this is considered a crinkly paper, but it's really got nothing on this onion skin paper. This is, I think, pretty much the loudest paper I've ever come across. It's interesting. I tried to use this as my main journal for... I think I got through about a week and a half before I got a little tired of it, to be honest. It's very interesting. It's a very novel kind of paper to write on. It does well with fountain pen ink. It's not the fastest drying as you would expect, but it's so see-through. You pretty much have to use like a sheet, but on a page like this, where I've written on one side and you want to write on the other side, this is kind of a terrible experience. I found it super distracting. You definitely want dark ink. This is Sailor Studio. I think it's one, two, three or something like that. And I just found that writing with this, it was really hard to do. You just get distracted. You can't see what you're doing. I found it pretty annoying. Now, if we go with a, a you know, more of a normal darker ink, and I'm trying to remember what this ink is. I think this is another Sailor ink, but it's a darker one just so you can see. It's a little bit easier to do now with the darker ink, but it's still really distracting. It's about the first First week it was really fun and interesting and then I just got really sick of it. It's like I want to see what I'm writing. It just starts to kind of feel like a mess. And even if you just skip pages, say oh I'm only going to write on one side of the page, you still are going to get a good amount of see-through. I mean, look at that. It's pretty, I found it pretty distracting. The other thing about this notebook that I did not love that I thought made it harder to use is the, the binding. It is a stitched binding, but I really had to fight with it to get it to lay, you know, as flat as it's laying now, which in my opinion is uh, not very flat. I think that they, the way that they did this, they did it too tight. I don't know if the glue is right, but it's it's very hard to get it. Oh gosh, I'm hearing something rip. <laughs> All right, let's try not to ruin it. Uh, but it's pretty hard to get it to lay flat. So although I like the paper, I think it's interesting. It's not my favorite binding. I thought it was a bit hard to use. You'll also notice that it is bowing a little bit in the middle. I'm not sure if it will go back into shape, but that's just for me using it here in San Francisco. We don't have a lot of humidity, but I do get a bowing from this notebook. So if you don't mind see-through paper, you like Tomoe River 52 GSM and you want to try a more extreme version of it, Onion Skin Notebook is definitely something worth trying. I know there are a couple other ones out there on the market. I know Danica58 on Etsy makes one. I'd be very curious to try that. Also with Onion Skin paper, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Well, first of all, I don't know who makes this paper. They say it's 100% wood pulp, but when I try to do research about what onion skin paper is, people say that it has like a 25% or more cotton content, and that's what makes it so strong. I don't know. This paper is kind of a mystery. So what are my pros and cons for the Onion Skin Journal by Remy Road? Well, let me just start off by saying this is probably one of the most polarizing notebooks I've ever experienced. So there's kind of a lot to say in terms of pros and cons, and this is 
definitely not a notebook for everyone. It is very unique and good in some ways, and in my opinion, very bad in some other ways. Uh, but really, it's down to the the paper. But anyway, let's let's just go through it. So pros: the onion skin paper is very unique. It does work well with fountain pens. You can get good sheening. The face of the page looks really good. It's a fun paper to write on. It's very, very crinkly, very loud paper. So if you like the crinkliness of, I don't know if that's a word, but of Tomoe River, you might like this. I think the look of the notebook is quite nice. It comes in five different linen colors, 320 pages. It's a very unique writing experience. In terms of cons, there's kind of a lot in my opinion. And I'm not saying this is a, a bad notebook, but it's very expensive. It's $48 for shipping. And I realize this is an expensive paper. It's made in America. They have to hand fold the pages. They use 32 page signatures, which is bigger than I typically like. And I had a hard time getting this notebook to lay flat. This looks pretty good, but you really got to I don't know. I found it, I found the binding to be annoying when I was writing in this notebook. And in terms of the paper, my intention was to use this daily as my main notebook for about a month. I made it about a week and a half before I said, all right, I can't take it anymore. The paper is so see-through, like writing on the other side, that's not really... It's just, it's very distracting to write on the back side. This is the back side of a page. The fountain pen ink does bleed. There's so much show through, it doesn't really matter. One thing that also annoyed me, this guide sheet does not fit cleanly into the notebook. So it sticks out and it's got sharp edges. Again, 320 pages, but if you don't want to write on both sides of the page, then you're down to 160 which isn't great, especially not for $48. So, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm being really hard on this notebook. It's just not a notebook for me. But people that love onion skin, this could be a, a great option. Now, Danica58 on Etsy, who made the Torah Next notebook that I reviewed, I'll put a link to that review up, does an onion skin paper notebook. I'm curious to try that, just to see how I like it in a, a different style of notebook. That's it. Do you guys have this notebook? Do you like this notebook? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen, paper, and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. And until next time.